Hello all, in this video tutorial we are going to understand about how to write an ARM Cortex M4 assembly language program to perform array addition. So let me explain the logic uh, first. So in this program we have to initialize uh, the data items, input data items globally in data area using a DCD assembler directory. So it allocates one or more words of memory aligned on 4 byte uh, boundary. I will explain that later. Let us uh, consider this example uh, using uh, DCD assembler directive. So these are the uh, input data elements. So we can assign the data elements into the corresponding memory location. So according to the logic we are uh, using, so we are going to use 4 register to perform array addition R0 R1, R2 and R3. R0 is used as a temporary register and R1 is configured as a pointer, memory pointer and R2 is for, uh, two is for count register. It is used as a count register. It will store number of additions to be performed and um, R3 for getting data items from memory. So first initially clear R0 register and next starting address of the array to be loaded into R1 register and the fifth step load the count value into R2 register and uh, in sixth transfer the data pointer by R1 actually your R1 is configured as a memory pointer so the data pointer by R1 should be transferred to R3 register and after that we have to perform the addition. For that, adding the add the content of R0 with R3 register and store the result in R0. So according to the pipeline characteristics of ARM Cortex M4, the current memory pointer is added with 4 to fetch the next data element from the memory. So for that, the 4 immediate data was added with R1 to fetch the data from the memory location and once the addition is performed we have to decrement the count register by 1. After that we have to check the carry flag by using this branch not equal instruction. So this instruction checks the zero flag status whether you are asked to be zero or not. If it is not 0, repeat the instructions from step 6, that is repeat the loop again, otherwise terminate the program. Finally, the sum will be stored in R0, that is result will be stored in R0. So let us consider this example. So according to the input, the data elements are stored in the corresponding memory location. Here R1 is configured as a pointer, so initially it is pointing to HC and transfer the data pointer by R1 to R3 register. So the first data element is fetched and transferred to R3. Now your R0 is added with R3. R0 is initially clear. So this is 0 plus 12. So this 12 is stored in R0. And to fetch the ne next data element, R1 is added with 0, 4. Now your R1 is pointing to 9, 0. So first addition is performed, decrement the count by 1. So to fetch the data from R1 and transfer the data into R3. So next element will be 34. So 12 plus 34. So 46 will be placed in R0. And R1 is uh, added with 0, 4. Now current memory memory uh, pointer pointing to 9.4 next R2 was decremented by 1 next 56 is fetched that is added with 46 result will be 9, 9C next 78 is fetched and that is added with 9C and result will be 114 and next 21 is fetched from 29C that is added with 114 the final result will be 135 and now your R2 becomes 0. So once the 0 flag is set to 1, your program will be terminated. 
So let's execute the code in Kale Microvision. So create new project. Now select your microcontroller. Select your nuclear board. Enable our startup. Click on OK. So your target has been created here. So this area will be your data element, data area here we have to initialize our data elements and here we have to enter our code. Export. So you are it is declared with the uh, assembler directive DCD. Here we have to enter our inputs 0x12, comma 0x34, comma 0x56, comma 0x78, comma 0x21 so that's all about our data area next in code area Under main, let's enter our instruction. First, clear your count register with zero. Move. R not comma hash zero and using LTR instruction declare the array elements LTR load data register R1 comma equal to array so the starting address of array is loaded into R1 register now R1 register holds memory location Next, initialize your count register. Move R2, comma, hash 0, 5. So, you are transfer next, you are transfer the content of. R1 register to R3 register for that use LDR instruction LDR R3 comma in bracket R1 so the content of 
R1 is transferred to R3. So currently your uh, R1 is pointing this data element. So the content of R1 means the 12 is placed that is transferred into R3 register. Next perform addition operation add R0, R0, R3. Next instruction add R1, R1, hash 0, 4 for pointing next memory location and subtract R2 by 1. Next instruction subtract with flag update R2, R2, hash 1. Branch not equal my loop. So this branch not equal checks the status of 0 flag. Suppose when R2 becomes 0, your 0 flag will be set. Otherwise, your program will repeat the same instruction until your R2 becomes 0. Let's save this file with dot s extension let's compile this code if after before that we connect to the nuclear board compile to go to options here select your ST link the occur Click on OK, click on OK. Let's debug the code. So programming is, programming is done. So run to cursor line. Click on run to cursor line. And click step step one line option so R0 is cleared with 0 and next R1 is pointing 80028C R2 is loaded with value 5 that is R2 is configured that is used as a count register so first data was transferred to that is 12 is this is your first data so that is transferred to R3. So the first addition R0 plus R3 the R3 value was added with R0 R0 is initially clear so the answer will be 12 so the 12 will be placed in R0 register next R1 is pointing 290 your count value is decremented by 1. Now R3 holds the second data. Addition will be performed. Next pointing 294. R2 holds 03. Next data is fetched. That is added with 46. 9C will be holded by R0. Next pointing 298. And R2 will 0 to it's 21 is added with 114. The answer will be 135. And R1 is pointing 290. Now your R0 becomes 0. Sorry, your R2 becomes 0. So 0 flag will be set. 
so once the zero flag is set means the additions will be performed so the program will be terminated here so let's try this program you can try this program for larger number thank you for watching